Jin Wu here also quietly observed the situation. Even in just a split second, Mr. Salm was able to catch up with the assassin's speed. Mr. Salm fought while thinking of ways to be a little faster to be able to deal with the other guy. Gang T6 smiled triumphantly, he said. Speed and accuracy. Amazing. Now I think giving up magic and picking up a sword was your wisest decision. But that's just it. He finally took action. Slashed a line on Mr. Salm's body, blood splattered. If you think a little, you will realize why there is not a single magic swordsman among the dozens of hunters out there. Ju He here is trying to recover from Mr. Salm's previous injuries. Gang T Suk noticed that she was quite uncomfortable, so he was about to approach her when he was attacked by Mr. Song from behind. How dared you turn your back in front of a swordsman? You look down on me too much. He was a bit surprised, but then turned back to directly block Mr. Song's attack. He said angrily, It seems your old man is not ordinary. Mr. Song then replied that it might look a bit funny, but I have an S rank disciple. Even though I can't keep up with you, my skills can. He suddenly appeared behind Mr. Kim. Unfortunately, anyone's power has a limit. You really think a magician can keep up with an assassin's speed, too knave. He used his extremely fast speed to slash Mr. Salm's body many times, causing him to scream in pain. He continued to say, If it were someone else, you would have a chance to win, but my rank itself has surpassed yours. A mage cannot keep up with my movement speed. Ju He here saw the situation and screamed. Mr. Song, the sinister gang T6 assassin, looked at them. That's right. It seems you finally realize all your efforts were in vain. He approached to finish off Mr. Song, but then his eyes were filled with determination. His hand was placed on the ground, a stream of fire energy burned from below right where gang T6 stood. A huge column of fire appeared. Mr. Song didn't know if it had any effect or not when suddenly he appeared behind. A mage attacks like a swordsman to hide his magical skills, and then releases his magic as soon as he raises his sword to deliver the finishing blow. Not a bad plan. The slay old fox. While Mr. Song was helpless, he raised the dagger to finish him off, but then Jin Wu appeared to block the attack, making everyone surprised. The assassin Gain was angry. It's you again. Who are you? What is your rank? Jin Wu's face was cold. Sung Jin Wu. He rank. He began to cautiously retreat backwards. An E rank guy? Impossible. Mr. Psalm was surprised. How could you? He exuded murderous intent. Even if you were a type of power, an E rank couldn't release such power. However, after seeing your reaction speed, I know that you are not normal. You blocked my attacks twice. Then you are assassin type. Haven't you been hiding your true strength from the beginning? A fake ranker. It seems you've known these guys for a long time, so that possibility can be eliminated. No fake ranker would let another person live when they witness their true power. Then there is only one answer left. You have received double awakening. After hearing this news, everyone was once again surprised. Judging by their reaction, it seemed like you had recently had a double awakening, but you seem to be an inexperienced hunter. If so, then as a high-ranking senior, let me teach you a lesson. Jin Wu asked him, why did he act so cruelly? He asked that group of prisoners. Jin Wu said it was everyone. He said Jin Wu's expression just now was scary. He didn't kill people for fun. He recounted the incident where he sat and talked to the man earlier at the coffee shop. His poor daughter was harmed by those prisoners, so he hired them to kill her. He was about to refuse by raising the price, but he immediately accepted. Even though things turned out like this, he honestly didn't want to harm them. If Jin Wu's group promised not to say anything about today, he would spare everyone's lives. Jin Wu said that who knows? Your mouth says that, but your expression seems to want to teach us a lesson and show who is stronger. I have no intention of believing your words. It's hard to believe that someone just made up a story about everyone's debts. The assassin gang didn't say much and immediately approached Jin Wu. The two knives clashed with murderous intent. Gang t Sik is still confident. Whether you believe it or not, it's pitiful that all of you will die together like insects. If Jin Wu says so, he is also pitiful because he will soon die here. He frantically attacked Jin Wu. I don't know how many ranks you gained since E ranking, but killing me isn't as easy as you think. Jin Wu slashed him, but it was actually just an illusion. The speed of the two sims surpassed the sight of ordinary people. Mr. Song was amazed at this speed and couldn't believe that this was some Jin Wu as he knew. 
While attacking, the other assassin continued to say, three billion to do some simple work, who would have thought that I would be able to meet a high rank hunter like this? The speed of the two people is now equal. Gang asks Jin Wu, is this your fastest speed? No matter how fast Jin Wu's eyes are, if his body can't keep up, it's useless. Ju He here strengthens Jin Wu. Seeing this, Gang T Sik began to get serious. Each attack could take the lives of both parties. They fought from place to place. Although they were similar in speed and skill, it seemed that Jin Wu was behind him in experience. That difference will lead to Jin Wu's defeat. He approached and tried to sneak attack Ju He, but was stopped by Mr. Psalm. While Jin Wu was caught off guard, he slashed him a few times. But it seems that Jin Wu was not affected too much after that attack. The body began to radiate murderous aura. The emergency mission has been activated and the system automatically adds a murder mission. Jin Wu picked up the knife, his eyes filled with murderous intent. I'm coming. The murderous aura emitted made Gang T6 scared. He clearly has the advantage. Is Jin Wu crazy? Jin Wu used extremely fast speed and suddenly approached the location of the assassin gang. The two continued to fight each other. Neither side seemed to lose. Jin Wu also admitted that he had learned many things from the assassin gang, including the fact that the loudmouths on the battlefield are all useless. The running skill from earlier was activated. The speed increased by 30%, making the gang surprised because Jin Wu could still speed up further. A slash slashed across gang's face. Paralysis effect from the knife is activated. The assassin now realized that Jin Wu's knife was poisonous. It may cause some side effects. He was really angry. The assassin began to demonstrate his skills. In a moment, I couldn't see him anywhere anymore. This was Jin Wu's first time seeing him, so he was a bit surprised that he didn't feel his presence at all. He complimented Jin Wu's sharp senses when he was able to block his attack. He hid his entire form, sense, sound, and murderous only a few assassins can master this skill and no one knows he possesses the invisibility skill. Because no one survived after seeing this skill of his. Because Jin Wu is not adapted yet, he is being continuously beaten by that assassin. His leg tendon was torn, he said, it would heal quickly if treated directly, but only basic healing spells would be effective at this distance. Ju He and Mr. Song were about to approach, but were stopped by the assassin who said, don't try anything and stand where you are. Mr. Song here is thinking of a way. He cannot help Mr. Song with his skills, but perhaps he can afford to buy time until Mr. Song is completely healed. Assassin Gang looked at Jin Wu with a confident expression. Can you withstand my next attacks with that fragile body? Now you can't reach the same speed as before, no matter how long it takes to recover from the wound. I mean that missing leg. Jin Wu looked at him coldly. You talk too much. Jin Wu then used the status recovery feature. His entire body glowed. They all couldn't believe their eyes anymore. He recovered immediately. The assassin could no longer guess the situation after seeing this incident. An offensive hunter who possessed healing magic actually existed. Jin Wu stood up clearly and said, depending only on it like this is guaranteed to have limitations. So I came up with a solution. The assassin doubted whether it was a threat. How many times could he use that spell? We really can't guess anymore. He was too dangerous. Jin Wu realized his emotions died again. Jin Wu didn't want to get angry at all because Gang didn't deserve him like that. The Gang attacked, but every attack was seen through and he finally understood the difference between Jin Wu and them. He asked Jin Wu if he killed someone before, right? Ha! Are we the same? Mr. Song now also realized where Jin Wu's change came from. When life and death are sometimes so fragile, a person's determination can make that person change their whole life. In just a short period of time, Jin Wu was forced to make difficult decisions. Looks like Jin Wu didn't just change his appearance. The name Gang has now realized that dual consciousness is the power to change the entire law of society. New rules for hunters have been created, which are not bound by law or morality. The strong man's word is the law, so he will unleash his full power. He suddenly attacked Jin Wu extremely fast, but it seemed to have no effect anymore. Gang realized that the invisibility skill hid his presence once it activated, but when he attacked with high killing intent, his presence was revealed for just a fraction of a second. Jin Wu waited for that moment, but there was no way Jin Wu knew exactly where he attacked from. 
he would break Jin Wu's rhythm. Jin Wu's eyes became fierce. The system activates the bloodlust skill, causing the gang to fall into a dark void. Darkness enveloped the gang. This is the darkness in Jin Wu's body. Suddenly a dagger stabs straight into Gang T6 body. Hunters are people who have witnessed countless deaths and also taken countless lives. Because they often face life and death situations, they not only have to confront monsters but also their own kind. They gradually become perfect killing machines. You too. You wouldn't lump hunters and ordinary humans into the same category, would you? I die because I have lost. This is the law of nature. I want to ask you this question. Why are you really? An assassin possessing healing magic also has the ability to negate negative effects. I've never heard of anything like that. Jin Wu replied, I don't know for sure. Before he died, Gang added, The talkative guys are probably useless, but sometimes keeping too many secrets isn't necessarily a good thing. Because you killed me, you can no longer hide your power. Jin Wu said that assuming he was a hunter who grew stronger after each battle, he asked him how strong he thought he could be. Before he died, he still tried to say, Your shadow, it is connected to the darkness. You will become as strong as your shadow in the darkness. Mission completed reward system. Jin Wu felt like he had become a lot stronger, but he felt like a part of him was lost every time he became stronger. Ju He and Mr. Song come forward to thank Jin Wu. If it wasn't for you, everyone would have died. He asked Jin Wu what to do next. Jin Wu said, Leave this place and report back to the guild. We should close this gate first. Mr. Song was surprised and asked, Mr. Song, don't say you plan to solo the boss, or not, I have seen your ability so I won't stop you anymore. I want to bury them properly, it is pitiful. Jin Wu pulled the dagger from the assassin gang. A glowing stone from his body is rune, stealth. You will have the skill if you break the rune. The two of them, Ju He and Mr. Song, went out to report to the guild and promised to meet Jin Wu later. He stood up and said to a prisoner, I know he is still alive. Why did he pretend to be dead? Are you planning to escape while no one is paying attention? You can't say Gang T6 actions were quite cruel. He cut so sweetly that he cut your larynx. Probably to kill you in the most painful way after making sure you can't scream. If you continue like this, you will die from blood loss. If you ask Ju He for help, maybe you will have a way to live. He thought he was saved, but he didn't know that was the case. Jin Wu took him to a room full of goblins. Jin Wu asked him if he remembered the faces of his victims clearly. He's even more trash than Gang T-Sick. There's no way Jin Wu will let a monster like him escape. A group of evil monsters looked at the prisoner, causing him to panic. They approached and began to crush the prisoner. A series of extremely cruel actions probably left that guy in pieces. Jin Wu has dealt with the final boss. Outside Song Chi Yul and Ju He explained the whole story. That person realized the dire and urgent nature of the incident, so he quickly contacted his superiors, and senior inspectors were quickly present at the scene. He approached asking how long it had been since the dungeon was completed. The employee responded in about 40 minutes. So there are only 20 minutes left, it's been too long. Try to get the victim's body out of the dungeon within 8 minutes. If not, then quickly return to the survivors who complete the dungeon. As he walked, he thought Gang T6 killed the remaining hunters while working on this killing contract. If that were true, he would have intentionally left the corpse behind. But here he was in a hurry to close the dungeon. That means he's hiding something. He was surprised to see some Jin Wu here. Surprised because he didn't recognize him. He greeted Jin Wu. He also recognized him as an inspector from the surveillance department. The inspector introduced himself as Wu Jin Shul, head of the surveillance department. It seemed one of his employees had caused great harm to Jin Wu. He will officially apologize to you after everything is handled and the investigation department will take care of this case. Jin Wu thought to himself that this was not the time to be arrogant when he killed the right bee hunter. Before, he wasn't able to realize that this person was very strong. He said as a member of the surveillance department, I have a few questions for you. Jin Wu realized that this detective was on a completely different level. He was at rank with his current abilities. Jin Wu was no match for him. He said he would get straight to the point and ask who killed B. Red Gang T. Sick. While Jin Wu thought he couldn't hide his double awakening anymore, suddenly Mr. Song came forward and said he was the one who defeated Gang T. Sick. 
Inspector Wu asked Mr. Song's rank, but he immediately replied that he was rank C. He continued asking if that was the case, then how could he defeat a B rank? Mr. Song said that thanks to the help from support healer B rank, he was able to defeat him. The inspector still didn't believe it, but still invited Mr. Song back to the office to fill out some of their reports. Jin Wu approached and asked why he was covering for him. Mr. Song said that Jin Wu must have had a reason to hide his power. Jin Wu can't escape the investigation anyway. He couldn't repay anything after what Jin Wu did, but at least he could do something for him. The inspector looked at Jin Wu and said that he didn't think he could defeat B rank like Hunter Gang T Sick, but if you're not careful, you'll soon lose your life. Jin Wu didn't understand anything. The father said that in the massacre of Wang Dong Suk's team, only he and a D rank survived. The problem is that Wang Dong Suk's younger brother, Wang Dong Su, will probably come to Jin Wu for revenge. Jin Wu suddenly asked if he was talking about S rank Wang Dong Su. The inspector confirmed that it was. He didn't know what really happened in the dungeon at that time. But the important thing was that Song Jin Wu survived. Because he is an S rank, not even the law can stop him. S rankers are like living miracles, but at the same time, they are also disasters of destruction. I think you should watch out for him because you will most likely be hunted by someone even monsters fear. Leaving the country with the person you love isn't a bad idea. Three hours after the investigation, the CEO of Gold Business appeared to help them. Ju Yi called Jin Wu over and she held out the E rank stone and asked him to remember this. The two of them went for a walk that night. Ju Yi said Jin Wu had changed a lot and she remained the same after that incident. He comforted her that each person has a different way of changing. She also agreed with that. She admitted that she was quite shy to become a hunter. Ju Yi tried to overcome it, but it wasn't easy. She said, If you're break healer, Normally you join a rank or break dungeons. Even C rank if you're not conditioned well. But I still joined door E rank raids. And then I constantly met you, Jin Wu. I kept healing the injuries that never stopped appearing on you. To be honest, you got hurt so much it became pretty annoying. I thought you were stupid and vain at times. But you always managed to survive. Those eyes, brimming with life, seemed like they were screaming for survival. For tomorrow, but I don't think I'll ever be able to have those eyes. She gave the stone before Jin Wu promised to take her out to eat when he returned from the dungeon. Judy said she would retire from her career as a hunter and return to Buzen. I asked Jin Wu to let me know when he comes to visit. I will treat him to fresh sashimi. Jin Wu held the pill tightly in his hand and smiled. If I go there, I will invite you on a date. She smiled brightly then said goodbye to Jin Jin Wu. The next morning, Jin Wu went to the dungeon gate to prepare to fight the boss. He was dissatisfied when he saw that his teammates were crippled, addicted, and some were still students. Jin Wu asked Jin Ho if students are also given hunter licenses. She heard that and said, Children, that's a bit rude. I am a fully qualified and qualified hunter. Jin Wu approached and asked, You are a high school student. Have you ever experienced going to a dungeon? She gently replied, Not yet. Jin Wu said, it's okay. You don't need to follow me into the dungeon. Just wait outside. Only you and Jin Ho will go in there. Jin Ho explains to them that because only two people can't enter, they need to come here. Because according to the rules, 10 people are needed to enter dungeon C rank. All of them were surprised that only two people went to dungeon C rank. A guy who doesn't believe he actually received 3 million won just for them to sit here. Jin Ho confirmed that it was true. The deal is quite good. You don't need to move a finger. All you need to do is sit and wait outside. However, you must not tell anyone about anything here. If you can do it, you will pay 10 times more. Jin Wu saw Jin Ho's outfit and was immediately dissatisfied, not understanding what he was doing. Jin Wu pushed him down and told him to take off that armor. A moment later, Jin Ho and Jin Wu started entering the dungeon but he still brought his hat with him to prevent rocks from falling on his head. The people outside still couldn't believe they would be able to clear the seed rank dungeon. If Jin Wu and the others die, who will pay them? A guy in the group said he knew Hunter Jin Wu. He is known as the weakest hunter in the world. Our captain is D rank. The drunk old man hearing that, he said, a bunch of arrogant people. Young people are always so arrogant. They only bring trouble to themselves.
A moment later, everyone was surprised because the two of them returned safely. At first, everyone thought they were running away, but one person noticed the closed gate and shouted, What? Do they kill the boss? Jin Wu asked, Jin Ho, where is the next gate? Jin coughed Bao an hour ago and ordered the group to go. The guy from before was surprised that they continued to go to the dungeon after completing a C-rank dungeon, not knowing who these two people really were. White Tiger Guild, the panicked employee shouted. Sir, please look at this. Mr. Boss panicked 2005 million 5001. Someone boldly spent 2005 million 5001 just to have the right to enter a C-rank dungeon. The employee replied, Recently a team started buying access to all the C-rank gates that appeared so there are no low-level gates left. Let our low-ranked hunters practice too. Normally the gate price is only about 7,000. I can still spend 100 million, but they spent 200 million 5,000 to get the right to enter that gate. After investigation, they learned that the buyer was Jin Ho, the second son of the Yu Jin group. Among them was a survivor of the hidden dungeon, Song Jin Wu. He realized there seemed to be a good opportunity. Having said that, he told everyone to stop their activities and start searching for information about Jin Wu and Jin Ho immediately. After a while of investigating information from headquarters, they realized that Song Jin Wu had miraculously survived all three major incidents. First was the double lair incident. Second was the death of Wang Dong Suk entire party. Third, the most recent case, was the guild's monitoring supervisor's murder incident. Song Jin Wu and Yu Jin Ho became acquainted during the second case, and the most important thing about Yu Jin Ho is his relation to Yu Jin Architects. There is a rumor going around that Chairman Yu Myung Han is recruiting skilled hunters with the intention of founding a guild. If this is true, it won't be strange for Yu Jin Ho to profit from this. The recruitment of skilled hunters. E Rank Song Jin Wu. Clearing seed rank gates with insane speed. That means, Hunter Song Jin Wu could be a reawakened person. The two of them walked and talked about Jin Wu, the double awakened Hunter Song Jin Wu Mr. Boss confirmed it was true. Otherwise, there was no way he could survive three such major incidents. Every time an incident occurs, many people die and there is no other suitable explanation for this. In the most recent incident report, a C-rank mage and a B-rank healer teamed up to defeat a high-ranking detective hunter. But that was a myth. That inspector is a rank B assassin. Magic wasn't very effective against an assassin and the detective was a skilled fighter so he would definitely take down the healer first. In reality, it was just a C-rank mage fighting one-to-one -one with a B-rank assassin. The only possibility was that someone else had defeated the hunter from the surveillance department. At that time in the dungeon, the only survivors were rank B healer, rank C mage, and rank E Song Jin Wu. So the only suspicious person seems to be that, but manager and Sang Min. Before he finished speaking, the manager immediately said that they were going to recruit talent. He absent-mindedly thought to himself, it's not normal for the manager to personally recruit people. The scene changes inside the dungeon. The wolves are fighting when they suddenly feel scared, and it turns out that Jin Wu has appeared. They have no choice but to attack randomly, but it is completely ineffective. Jin Wu only used a few knife strokes to defeat them all. Jin Ho stood aside and exclaimed, He hid this skill and is only using it now. It seems he became stronger than before. Jin Wu looked at the system board and discovered that he had leveled up a bit and received some fun skills. Having just drunk the mana potion, Jin Wu remembered that the rune he took from Gang T6's body contained his skills. He was a bit hesitant to use it, but it was much more effective than Jin Wu's other skills. The problem was that the amount of mana consumed was too large. Jin Wu didn't intend to increase his intelligence at all, but it seemed like he had to. The angry wolf moved quickly towards Jin Wu while he was distracted. Jin Wu used a dagger and punched the wolf three times in a row to defeat the wolf. The level increases and the system notifies you that you have reached the necessary level. Jin Wu was skeptical about what it meant. Suddenly, a notification about a job change mission has been sent. Will you accept it? Looking back at the data table, Jin Wu's career position is actually still zero. The branch manager and his staff arrived in front of the dungeon where Jin Wu was going and were stunned by the scene before them. Everyone played cards and had a party together so happily that he thought this was a playground. He said, what the hell is this? Why is everyone waiting outside the gate? 
A female student walked up and said to the manager, This is a forbidden area, do you know? The manager angrily told her, Don't interfere with the adult's work. The employee also said, That's right, there is a gig here which is very dangerous. She said she was a hunter. Why do you guys treat her like a child? The manager asked suspiciously, Hunter, are you a member of this party? She confirmed that it was true. Isn't it a bit strange to say that? They don't even bother to enter the dungeon with their party members. After hearing these words, the manager thought, Sung Jin Wu, if my intuition is correct, then you are a once-in-a-lifetime talent that I can recruit. You are truly special. An announcement rang out in the group. The party leader is returning from the gate. Prepare to move. Jin Wu was leaving and asked Jin Ho about tomorrow's schedule. He forgot he had something important tomorrow, so he left the calendar empty for tomorrow. Jin Ho had already booked a few dungeons for tomorrow, but if something happened, he could cancel it. Hearing that, Jin Wu immediately asked if it really needed to be canceled. Jin Ho replied that if he placed a portal and did not enter it for two days, it would self-destruct. Hearing that, Jin Wu also felt reassured. Suddenly, the association's manager came calling. Hunter, Sam Jin Wu, nice to meet you. I am the head of the second management department of the White Tiger Guild. At a cafe, two people were chatting with each other. The manager said, Hunter, death, night, fame in us. Surely you have heard of one of those names. Of course, the White Tiger Guild is one of the best guilds in the southern region of Korea. I will go straight to the point. He said with a serious expression that they wanted to recruit Jin Wu to the guild with double the reward that Yu Jin Architectural Group offered him. At this time, he was still full of confidence with his proposal. Jin Wu over there thought, this must have been a very surprising offer for a rank E hunter. Thinking about it, Jin Wu continued to ask the manager, What is the value of the building the White Tiger Guild owns that you can make such an offer? After hearing this sentence, he was surprised and didn't understand what was going on, but still replied that they didn't own many floors in the building, but it was probably about 50 billion won. Jin Wu continued asking, And you want to give it to me? He confusedly said he didn't understand what Jin Wu was saying. After hearing the price, Jin Wu said he shouted, 30 billion won. His face was a bit surprised. Everyone around him looked at him with strange eyes. Reshaped a bit, the manager sat down and Jin Wu continued, Yu Jin's offer is a building worth 30 billion won. If you make an offer twice as much as theirs, that means you will give me the building of the White Tiger Guild worth 50 billion won. The manager gasped and thought, how strong is his ability that Yu Jin offered him 30 billion? They haven't even looked into his rank yet, and he just lied to me because there's no way to verify it. Jin Wu saw the look on his face and understood the problem, so he added, If you think I lied to you, I can 100% confirm that for you. Jin Wu thought, When he made that offer, I thought he already knew about Jin Ho's offer, but it seems that's not the case. The manager stammered and said, Such a high price is beyond my ability. If you give me a little more time, I can go back and discuss it with the guild senior committee. Jin Wu heard that and stood up to leave. Then we have nothing more to talk about. The manager here thinks it seems like he was too hasty. If we can find out the details of the Yu Jin group's proposal and get approval from the guild and come up with the correct move. Jin Wu was walking and stopped. Right? How did you get information about me? Did you investigate me? As soon as the question ended, Jin Wu disappeared surprising the manager of the White Tiger Guild. Suddenly, a small slash appeared on his face, making the manager sweat. Jin Wu stood behind him and told him not to turn around. The manager didn't dare say a word. He's scared, invisible. I got it. If he was a jewel awakened person who could use invisibility, then Yu Jin's suggestion wasn't unreasonable at all. The manager told me the whole story. I wasn't investigating Jin Wu, but an assistant in the guild said that someone completed rank C dungeon at extremely fast speed, so they investigated and found out. Jin Wu. He continued, There were three other major incidents that happened in the dungeon gate recently. I have no proof, but three times can't be a coincidence anymore, because he had dual awakening. He had the abilities of high rank hunters and was able to overcome those dangerous situations. Yu Jin Ho must have seen his ability in the second case and received a challenge from his father's guild like what he was doing now. Considering all those points, we came to a conclusion, and then we're sitting here. Jin Wu heard that and asked how many people know about him. 
The manager said in fear, it was just him and his assistant. Jin Wu hearing the whole incident, he realized that perhaps he was noticed because he cleared the Reg C dungeon so quickly. Jin Wu thought about it and said he didn't want anyone to know about this anymore. Hearing that, the manager immediately replied that he had asked to report everything to the guild master, but he also didn't want to die so he would warn his colleagues. Jin Wu felt relieved hearing that. He admitted that because he cleared the dungeon so quickly, he probably caught the attention of the White Tiger Guild, but expressed that he still had no intention of stopping. The management problem is that we are running out of low-level dungeon portals to train new recruits. We can't send them to high-ranked dungeons. Jin Wu gently looked at him and wanted to make a deal. Jin Wu's side will sell three pre-ordered Rank C gates. Of course, this special offer is only valid today. I don't want to miss the opportunity because it will be difficult to find a Rank C gate in the near future. The manager now thought, is he the one selling dungeon gates? Because the portal doesn't only appear in the city area. We can also train new soldiers in other provinces. But the problem was that it would create a big conflict between the White Tiger Guild and the big guilds. After thinking for a while, he finally agreed. Hearing that, Jin Wu offered 300 million per gate. Surprise management, the maximum number of mana crystals and magic crystals that could be obtained in C-rank dungeons is 200 million. If you sell like that, will we lose a lot of capital? Is 300 million a bit difficult for us or 200 million? Jin Wu immediately took the bait and accepted the request, leaving the manager bewildered. The two shook hands after an agreement with three C rank gates with a total of 600 million won deposited into Jin Wu's account. While Jin Wu was about to leave, he sent the manager a gift. He asked the manager to open his mouth and then poured a bottle of red liquid into his mouth. The wound on his face suddenly healed. The manager said Jin Wu had just revealed his invisibility and healing abilities. He could consider it as having gained Jin Wu's trust. He turned to look at him warningly. If you keep your mouth shut, that's right. After the negotiation was completed, Assistant Gai Chul came in to ask about the situation. The manager looked at him and said, Gai Chul, I think we just met someone much more formidable than we thought. Outside, Jin Wu received a call. The money was transferred to exactly 600 million as Jin Wu said. Jin Ho here said he didn't expect those gates to sell so much, so who did you sell them to? Jin Wu said, this is an undisclosed trading secret. A moment later, the assistant informed the White Tiger manager that there was still a C-rank gate. He replied correctly, all bid from under 10 million won. Today, Jin Ho's team did not place a single C-rank gate. I think we've been fooled. You Jin Ho's team had no intention of going to the dungeon tomorrow. The manager was sweating after being played a trick by Jin Wu. I failed to recruit Jin Wu and was even tricked. Does this mean he did it without fear of revealing his identity? Suddenly, a strange number sent a text message. Song Jin Wu. With this money, I will pretend you never secretly investigated me. The manager now understood that the agreed money was to compensate for this investigation. He's tough. He's really tough. Management is getting more and more interested now. I don't think he will contact me. He sent the message after remembering the phone number on my business card. That's enough now, we know Song Jin Wu's phone number. Our ultimate goal is still to recruit him. The amount of money spent today is not small for the White Tiger Guild. I will probably get in trouble with the Guild Master. At a certain mountain, Jin Wu was preparing to depart for his job-changing mission. Jin Wu smiled with an excited face. Okay, let's start. I wonder what kind of monsters will be in this place. At least this game is starting to become a little more real. Inside the castle, Jin Wu was now starting to fight the Steel Warriors. Jin Wu attacked each soldier decisively, but it seemed like his attacks were completely ineffective even though the soldiers weren't strong at all. Their only strong point is their high defense ability. They also don't have any skills. Do these Ironheads know that the heavier and slower their movements, the more vulnerabilities they expose? Jin Wu had experience facing enemies with armor so thick that daggers were ineffective. Jin Wu approached and hugged the Iron Warrior tightly. One hand broke his head. The system immediately informs you that you have killed a knight. Jin Wu here looked at the Iron Knight and exclaimed, Monsters like this are very weak when dueling, so does this one deserve to be called a monster. Scarecrow-type monsters, but more of them will appear soon, which will be big trouble. Jin Wu took the torch and went in. 
As he walked, he looked around and had to use a torch instead of a luminous stone because it was quite dark here. This place is like an artificial dungeon. I can't get out of here unless I complete it. So I have to save mana as much as possible. The most annoying thing is that I will gradually lose my mana. The system also announced that drugs and stores are prohibited in this area. When you level up, your status cannot be restored, Jinwu thought. Stealth and vital strike attacks are quite effective, but consume too much mana, so if I had known this would happen in advance, I would have added points to intelligence. Here you can't run away, and you can't heal. The difficulty level is still unknown, this dungeon is too risky. The task of changing careers cannot be overlooked. I don't know how many hours it will take, or not. How many weeks it took to complete this quest, it sucks not being able to recover HP. Jin Wu suddenly remembered whether he had done his daily mission today or not. At first, he thought this mission would be completed overnight. If he did this mission longer than 12 hours, Jin Wu would fall prey to the previous centipede again. It's not good, quickly change jobs and do daily tasks. But while walking for a while, Jin Wu wondered if he ran away last time. But if he faced it now, would he be able to win? But first, Jin Wu needs to deal with the empty heads that only rely on big armor in front of him. With a warlike expression on his face, Jin Wu just threw the stick on the ground and began to attack. His fist gathered an extremely strong force and punched straight into the knight's body, causing him to fly into the guy behind him. Before the remaining two guys had time to decide, Jin Wu continued to jump from somewhere in the air. One kick caused the other guy's head to sink. Then he jumped in and broke the other guy's neck. He was so strong that he could have crushed him to death with one hand. Jin Wu couldn't cut them off, so he could only target the weak joints on the armor. After defeating the knights, Jin Wu picked up a few useful items. A leather bag. Advanced knights' chest armor reduces their damage by 7%, which is great since armor-type items don't show their appearance clearly. If someone saw Jin Wu wearing it, they would probably die of laughter. He also didn't know if it could block his attack in this state. Next is a leather bag containing 30,000 gold. The total current assets in the system are 863, 400 gold. Jin Wu suddenly sensed danger. He stabbed once and an invisible knight appeared from nowhere next to him. All of them are invisible. Suddenly, there was a fire attacking Jin Wu from behind. He quickly dodged the attack and realized it was a wizard. He uses stealth and the same type of magic that Zhou Yuan used. What's going on here? It was as if it was imitating the battle that had just ended. Jin Wu dodged the attack and thought, This place is more difficult than I thought. Because there are countless types of monsters that appear, I need to use different stats for each type. Strength for knights, sense for assassins, agility for archers, and vitality for magicians. If you lack sense points, you will be in big trouble with assassins because he didn't add many points to intelligence so Jin Wu had to conserve mana as much as possible and not use skills continuously. At this time, Jin Wu's fatigue was increasing. He had to finish it as quickly as possible. The monsters are still approaching, and if it continues, it will be a great disadvantage for Jin Wu. He snuck into a corner to take a nap to relieve his fatigue, but then an arrow approached. Jin Wu grabbed it looked over there and saw a group of archers planning to attack him. They absolutely did not give Jin Wu a chance to rest. After a while of fighting, Jin Wu continued to receive a bag of gold and a bottle of warm water. He took a sip and sighed. I also leveled up a bit and quickly picked up quite a few items. My fatigue index also gradually decreased, so I prepared to move to the next floor. Turning to look at the equipment he had picked up, Jin Wu began to move forward. Even though he had leveled up, he still couldn't see it. Is the skill of the thing behind this door, the boss's room. The door opened, Jin Wu stepped inside, and a cold air surrounded him, sending chills down Jin Wu's spine. Jin Wu looked forward and saw an empty throne, then out of the darkness a knight holding a sword stepped out. Eyes and hands and fingertips, Jin Wu clearly remembered this feeling, just like when the boss was hiding in the double lair. A chill feeling, perhaps the energy radiating from this guy. The knight slowly stepped out. He was the blood-red commander, Igris. Jin Wu was serious now. He thought to himself, This red guy is completely different from the other armored ones. A knight protecting the vacant throne. The red knight held a huge sword and rushed towards Jin Wu, swinging it quickly. 
Jin Wu had time to react and dodge, the sword shockwave caused everything around it to crumble. It cut that column like tofu. The monster was so strong, it was disgusting. Jin Wu held the knife in his hand and stabbed the knight, but there didn't seem to be a scratch on his body. He was like a destructive machine. Another sword swum down from above, forcing Jin Wu to avoid it if he didn't want to die here. Jin Wu now fell into a difficult situation, seemingly falling into a passive position. Looking at the monster, Jin Wu thought to himself, Damn, how could that guy, this monster definitely has a strength above A. Its destructive power is much better than mine. Agility is the same. Its armor can block my daggers, meaning its defense is also higher. Is there any way to defeat it? It was much stronger than he thought. He took back the knife in his hand. I don't think I can defeat it with my bare hands, but if I can't penetrate the armor, then it's meaningless. This is the only way. Things will probably get worse. The night boss saw Jin Wu put down his weapon and started laughing like a true warrior. Jin Wu was surprised because he wanted to play fair with him. Did you ask if he looks down on you? But suddenly it rushed at extremely fast speed, hitting Jin Wu straight into the wall. Before the first attack was completed, the second attack came. Jin Wu fell into a passive position, only knowing how to defend. Even though he blocked the direct attack, Jin Wu still lost 500 health. If he wasn't wearing armor at this time, the damage would probably be much more. Jin Wu wouldn't walk out of here alive if he received such direct hits. He was still crazy strong even without using a sword. Jin Wu right now really doesn't know how to fight it. Jin Wu now approached that knight, he said, even though he lost to it in strength. He was still better than it in speed. The two strong men were still continuously fighting with each other, using powerful attacks from both sides, but suddenly Jin Wu was hit in the face by it, spinning dozens of times in pain. Jin Wu's health indicator is below 30%, so the damage taken is reduced by 50%. Jin Wu realized he had increased defense thanks to his passive skill, so he still had a chance to win. Jin Wu suddenly saw the knight's eyes, but before he could figure it out, he grabbed one of his legs, then punched him in the face and flew a hundred meters away. Jin Wu immediately flew up and vomited blood. The knight stepped forward and summoned his sword in his hand to finish Jin Wu. As soon as the sword arrived, Jin Wu quickly grabbed it using the knight's hand mirror. He quickly summoned his dagger and stabbed the other knight deeply in the eye, causing him pain. He quickly pulled out the dagger to stab Jin Wu, but he used the skill to summon the knife from the knight's hand to his hand, and then a straight blow to the other eye. Continuously followed by vital strikes, Jin Wu finished off the knight with a full force headbutt. Finally, that knight was defeated. The system announced that Jin Wu had defeated the Blood Red Commander, Igris. You have leveled up. Jin Wu gasped and looked at it, unable to believe he had won when his skills and strength were inferior to him in every aspect. It's true that you're lucky to win against this monster. If you make even the smallest mistake, you'll be in gold right now. If it's this strong, Jin Wu thinks it can duel on par with an Ray Hunter. Having said that, Jin Wu starts receiving items from a monster with Tange 4 items. If the boss is difficult, then the reward will be given. Also delicious. Seems like it's worth risking your life for. Then the gold reward was 1.5 million in addition to the S rank item. Knight's Chain Helmet. The stats are much better. 15% physical damage reduction is already good, and there are 20 more stats on vitality and strength. The S rank item is amazing. In addition, there is a rune and a heartstone. Jin Wu was suspicious. Clearly, this was the boss's room. If the heartstone fell out, perhaps the mission hadn't ended yet. From somewhere inside, another space gate appeared. The color seemed a bit more strange than a normal dungeon. The system announces that the job change mission will begin. Jin Wu stared at it and said, I knew, but there was no way it would end like that. A timer appears, the system says that the longer you last you will be able to get more points that will help you get a higher level profession. Good luck! The numbers began to count, and the Steel Knight slowly stepped out from the gates to surround Jin Wu. The scary ghost power, he didn't know how many guys he could take down in this state. If they were all on the same level as the first Igris then Jin Wu would be hopeless. Every second that passes is worth many points. So that means the longer the timer lasts, the more likely it is that you'll be able to unlock some hidden job. 
The more points, the better, very good for a job-changing mission. Jinwu currently has 390 mana left, needs 200 mana to activate stealth, so there is 190 mana left to maintain stealth. Every second, you lose 1 mana, which means you can buy 3 minutes with this stealth trick. Jinwu still had enough health and mana, he would try to hold out as long as possible. But then Jinwu's invisibility skill was suddenly neutralized by a magician, making him a bit surprised because it could see through his invisibility layer. The knights saw the enemy and immediately rushed forward like crazy. They continued to attack, but Jinwu tried to counterattack even more. The knights' attacks were all blocked by Jinwu. After a while of fighting, Jinwu became serious. He used the bloodlust skill. All of the knights' stats decreased by 50% in one minute. Bloodlust costs 100 mana so this is the last chance for Jinwu. Jinwu flew around a few times. Wherever he went the knights were defeated. Hundreds of soldiers rushed up. Jinwu was determined to take down as many of them as possible. But for some reason, they appeared from the gate at breakneck speed, making it impossible for Jinwu to kill him. His health was below 30% and his durability skill was activated. It seemed like Jinwu had underestimated them too much. If this continued, he wouldn't be able to use any skills anymore. Jin Wu was hesitant about using the Heartstone, not knowing what he would gain from having a job, but at his current level the difficulty of this dungeon was too high. If Jin Wu used the Heartstone, it would mean giving up on this mission. Looking up at the timer, Jin Wu suddenly realized that only five minutes had passed. Jin Wu couldn't believe it, so he decided to use the Heartstone to leave here. But suddenly a knight came and hit Jin Wu's hand, causing the heart stone to fall out of his hand. Jin Wu fell over a few times. He was angry. His aching body slowly stood up, looked at the knights and said, It can't end like that. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity because I have been at the bottom of this society for so long that I have always longed for the peak of strength. I know well the pain of being weaker than anyone else. How can an E-break help? It's the same in the dungeon. We only send people with fighting ability to participate in the dungeon. Each stream of memories coming back to Jin Wu makes him even more explosive. Jin Wu shouted loudly and rushed down to give the knight a blow that made his face dented. Each painful memory, the fear of that hidden dungeon continued to torment Jin Wu. Suddenly a person appeared in the darkness. He mysteriously said, Why don't you always choose the safe path and rush to play with death? Isn't it very lucky that an E-rank hunter of yours could be this strong? Is there anything wrong with what I said? Sam Jin Wu. It turns out it was him from before, that ghost in Jin Wu's heart. He needed to overcome his fear. The ghost told Jin Wu that he couldn't believe it was him because he was taller and more muscular, but he was still weak. Back in the battle, a soldier tried to attack Jin Wu, but he pushed him away. The soldiers continued to advance layer by layer toward Jin Wu. He continuously tried to resist, but it seemed useless. A knight slammed Jin Wu into the ground, causing the ground to break. The ghost next to him still whispered into Jin Wu's mind, You still have a long way to go. From now on you will have to kill more people, sacrifice or leave more people behind, including your friends and family. You will bring about your own destruction. In a daze, Jin Wu saw a system board informing him that you had not completed the mission and you would be taken to a place of punishment. That ghost keeps saying that some people say that luck is also a personal skill. It seems like letting you die here is such a waste of it. See you later. There was one last second before the knight slashed Jin Wu's body. Suddenly, the notification system sent Jin Wu to the punishment area. The soldier slashed down, but Jin Wu disappeared. He was taken to the desert, a place familiar to Jin Wu from before. Jin Wu slowly sat up. A stream of memories from before came back. Thinking back, he still hadn't finished his daily mission today, so it was just the right time to run out of time. Jin Wu did not expect that he could still live in that situation. Jin Wu opened the store. He started choosing recovery medicine. After taking it, his fatigue gradually decreased, but his blood still did not increase. It seemed that this medicine did not restore health if he was seriously injured. The only way now was to wait until the blood healed on its own. Jin Wu still doesn't understand the job change dungeon very well, but will he be healed when he levels up here? Perhaps he would have been killed by another blow, but he had never felt this excited. The question is, where are the monsters that help you level up? But before I could look for them, they appeared from behind, not one but three. 
They were shouting to prepare to attack Jin Wu, but he was already preparing to fight. Meanwhile, Jin Ha is still at home looking at the clock. It's so late and Jin Wu still hasn't come home. Jin Ha thought that maybe his older brother already had a girlfriend, but thinking about it, he still couldn't believe there was a way that his second brother would have a girlfriend. Jin Ha still doesn't know if Jin Wu remembers the parent-teacher conference this morning. At our punishment area, Jin Wu survived for more than three hours and defeated a group of giant centipedes. Jin Wu drank the recovery potion and said, It's exactly what I thought. This punishment area allows me to heal when I level up and I also have access to the shop so I can restore the remaining health with potions. The remaining time is three minutes before returning to the job change mission. I still had some time to prepare Rasaka's fang to penetrate the knight's armor, so I have to use all the resources I have right now. Having said that, Jin Wu opened his shop. After searching the shop for a while, Jin Wu found a knight killer for 2.8 million gold. Although it's a bit expensive, things will be completely different from last time. This is a B-level fence with an attack of up to 75. Fighting against high-armored opponents, its attack ability will be increased by 25% of damage. Jin Wu now used white tape to secure the knife to his hand. This way he wouldn't have to worry about the weapon falling like the last time the knight tapped his hand and the tiny heart stone slipped out. Jin Wu looked forward with a determined expression. There was no way to know what the outcome would be. Let's take a risk. In addition, Jin Wu also has the ruler's hand rune, the stone obtained after defeating the red knight. He crushed the stone and the skill immediately appeared. The system congratulates you on receiving the ruler's hand skill, an active skill that does not consume mana. You can control objects without touching them. Jin Wu read through and found the skill quite useful, but then he realized it was the skill of the knight from before. Countdown Jin Wu says this is his last chance. Jin Wu thought that he had prepared everything as best as possible, so he had to leave it to his luck. The punishment mission ended. Jin Wu returned to the job change mission. The knights were as numerous as ants and had been standing here waiting for him ever since. Some guys just saw Jin Wu appear and attacked, but this time it was different. Just a few slashes caused them to split into two. The knight killer's effect is so effective, it's much better to fight these guys with your bare hands. After fighting for a while, Jin Wu noticed something unusual. Even though he killed a group of knights, his level still did not increase. In the punishment mission or the Red Knight, he still gained experience when he defeated him. The system only says that the healing effect comes from leveling up in this dungeon and doesn't mention not getting Negris. Even though the magicians used some kind of spell, they didn't attack Jin Wu directly, only these knights rushed forward. So what spells do those magicians chant? Some kind of curse magic? But Jin Wu didn't see any effects on himself at all. So the only thing that was left was the summoning magic. As time passed, the knights increased, but Jin Wu kept killing them and still didn't gain experience. They are not normal monsters. They are monsters summoned by someone else so they do not give experience. The summoners were the last to come out of the gate, the mages. Jin Wu used all his strength and flew straight into the middle of the formation, defeating a magician. As expected, the soldiers were able to operate thanks to the magicians. Jin Wu started to disappear. They used a special scanning technique. But that was Jin Wu's intention, so he could find their location. The remaining five mages, the ruler's knife throwing skills and hands were used continuously from the kill stage. The magicians in the dark were slashed by Jin Wu's slashes. There were four more left, so Jin Wu decided to blow them away as well. The skill is used continuously, so it is upgraded to a high level, so it can attract a knight. Jin Wu still rushed forward with the determination to cut these knights into pieces. Finally, after a while of fighting, Jin Wu defeated all the knights, but out of nowhere a knight appeared from behind and stabbed Jin Wu. He painfully turned back, causing that guy to leave the earth. He angrily used the ruler's hand to suck a magician standing behind him. With three more left, they remotely used combination magic to summon a super huge knight to fight Jin Wu. Its destructive power is extremely high. The magicians intend to sacrifice numbers in exchange for destructive power. But at this moment, the loophole was revealed, allowing Jin Wu to defeat them easily. After four and a half hours, all the monsters were defeated. The mission notification system was over, so now Jin Wu would get to choose a profession. 
He specializes in using daggers, so he probably chose assassin. But the system suddenly announced that the player's actions were analyzed and a profession would be chosen for the player, making Jin Wu a bit surprised. Jin Wu thought he had increased all his stats in strength and agility, so he would choose to be a warrior because of his high strength or an assassin because of his agility or perhaps a tank. Because your vitality index is also quite high, it will definitely choose one of those three professions. No matter what, you will become stronger. Each line of strange words on the system echoed continuously, as if to say something. Jin Wu suddenly read the words Army of Death. He was stunned. Wait, so this is my job. Finally, after a long time, Jin Wu received the necromancer profession. Seeing this text, Jin Wu was a bit surprised because he had absolutely no increase in intelligence stat. A necromancer subclass. A mage who possesses the ability to manipulate death and lead armies of the undead. Jin Wu didn't know if there were other necromancers among the hunters, but he saw in games or novels that most of this class, when fighting, entrusted everything to summon monsters. You've been following the fighting style since you became E rank. From the beginning, Jin Wu only used swords and daggers, and the skills he acquired were also inclined toward assassins. Why did the system choose this class for you? Jin Wu calmly recited the skill of rendering ghosts, accumulating ghosts. If we talk about the advantages of the necromancer class, perhaps according to the system, Jin Wu can create his own army, he thought to himself. But the slaves can't become stronger. Most likely their stats will also become useless. The system asks Jin Wu if he accepts this profession. He was surprised that he could be chosen so he was about to refuse. But the system added that necromancer is a hidden class. Do you still want to refuse? Jin Wu thought again. There were hunters who could create powerful shields. Some other hunters had the ability to buffs others even though they were not healers. There are rumors that White Tiger Gills. s rank bot Jun Ho has the ability to turn into a monster. All hunters with such unique abilities were in guilds and held positions of power. Hidden class means it possesses unique skills like those top hunters. If you are the first person to experience this necromancer profession, you don't need to think too much. Jin Wu remembered that the magician's skills from earlier were similar to necromancers. It was as if someone wanted to show me a necromancer's skills. Jin Wu doesn't know who created it, but this game is quite fun. You also have the ability to fight. Those magicians don't. If a mage possesses close combat abilities and can also create his own army, he or she can overcome B-ranked dungeons or even higher ranks. In the game, your abilities depend on skill level and stats, meaning the summoned monsters can become stronger. This is no longer about leveling up alone anymore. Finally, after a while of thinking, Jin Wu chose the necromancer profession. The system is based on the scores that Jin Wu has collected. Jin Wu has the opportunity to be promoted to a higher class. It announces that the time required for points to be added has passed. Do not use the bonus points. Remaining health is higher than 50% of the added points. All enemies are defeated. Points are added. The total score has exceeded the required limit. You are promoted from Necromancer to Shadow Lord. Dark shadows began to surround Jin Wu. His stats increased and he earned the title of one who overcomes all adversities. If I didn't get a lot of points, I would have been a necromancer for a long time. Jin Wu began to hear screams, screams of pain. The ghost rendering indicator system can be used on soldiers, Jin Wu thought to himself. Ghost rendering is probably a skill that turns corpses into summoned monsters. Necromancer is a command type job. The system tells Jin Wu to choose the command to render the ghost. Jin Wu thought for a moment and said, rise up, my army. Suddenly, the dark shadows of the soldiers rose up, surprising Jin Wu. 27 infantry and 3 magicians. You can create 30 ghosts, but you can save 20. What if you get the ghost of an S-rank hunter? Jin Wu looked closely at the Red Knight from before, thinking that now his ghost army possessed two air ranks or some strong skill. Jin Wu will destroy the 11 weakest ones. The system immediately says Jin Wu cannot summon the ghosts sent into the Void World. He stood before the body of Blood Red Commander Icarus and ordered, Rise up! A stream of terrifying power emitted but the system announced that the rendering failed. You still have two more chances. Jin Wu exclaimed that it wasn't easy at all. The success rate of rendering was based on the target's stats and the time after death. 
This one is a boss, so its stats are high, not to mention that four hours had passed after he killed it, so of course it was difficult to summon. With two more chances left, Jin Wu tried again, but failed again. He looked out at the throne above, so he reached out his hand to tell the other knight not to continue protecting the throne for the person who abandoned him. Kneel at my feet, the one who stands first, you will continue to rule that throne. Rise up, Blood Red Commander Igris. The last summon of Jin Wu was successful. The ghost's level is 7 you can name the ghost from knight rank onwards. Jin Wu names him Igris. The system notifies you that you have successfully rendered the ghost. After completing the job change task, Jin Wu returned home with a tired body, but a phone call came in that made Jin Wu unable to rest anymore. It was Jin Ha calling to wake him up for a parent-teacher conference. Jin Wu panicked and asked, Jin Ha, what time do you have to get there, honey? Jin Ha told her to call her when it was 5 o'clock. Jin Wu was preparing inside. He thought he should dress a little more politely because, after all, he was going to meet his sister's teacher. At a bank in the city, Jin Wu went to the bank and wanted to create an account and deposit money. The employee happily received the information, but was surprised after looking at the paper with an amount of 1.4 billion while Jin Wu was still very young. Immediately asked what job he did. Jin Wu calmly replied, I am a hunter. The employee secretly thought that everyone said that hunters make a lot of money, so he must have a high rank. She actively introduced Jin Wu to the bank's VIP package, but he immediately refused because he only wanted to deposit money there. Inside Jin Ha's school, she looked at Jin Wu with a somewhat helpless expression, 